I know that Canada is usually known for its cold, but it's summertime right now, so I'm a little sweaty. But that's because I've been walking around an amazing campus. So let me show you guys York University. I love just how much open space there is on campus here. Like, it's a very big campus. I mean, you could take hours walking a lap around this campus. It is gigantic. And that makes sense because there's over 50,000 students that study at York University, so naturally they need a lot of space to play and just roam around. There's this awesome big yard. Uh, there's a metro station right there too, which is really, really convenient. There's some really impressive faculty buildings here too, like the fine arts building right behind me is absolutely gorgeous. The business building over here. Uh, and speaking of programs, I guess we should introduce you finally to Travis. So Travis Westlake was awesome and he gave me a little campus tour and more importantly he told me a lot of interesting information about the university itself and the programs that they have to offer and how you can get admitted. So we're gonna check in on Travis, learn a little bit more about the university from him and we'll be back out here to show you more about York. Hi my name is Travis Westlake. I am the assistant director of student recruitment here at York University. Uh, York University is Canada's third largest university of just over 55,000 students. Uh, so we are a big place, which means a lot of opportunity and options for students across over 200 different programs, psychology or kinesiology and health science or business or computer sciences. We are one of the top schools in Canada for that. We have a new program in data science, environmental science. It could be environmental arts and justice. It could be cities, regions, planning here at the university. Fine arts, film studies, such as screenwriting, our bachelor of engineering. We are one of the only places you can study space engineering. So truly it is out of this world. And they've even got a store that sells like this stuff. This is, I had this when I was in Japan and I just love it. So just seeing that, I immediately had to run in and buy a bottle. Uh, it's very, very cool. And the fact that they have Japanese stuff honestly doesn't surprise me because this is an extreme extremely diverse campus and an extremely diverse city. Uh, all the time I've been walking around, I've been seeing people from a bunch of different nationalities, hearing different accents. So that is Toronto in a nutshell, and York really reflects that diversity on campus. I swear, every weekend there's a different cultural festival, so if you want to, like, taste the world, um, you, you truly can with authentic food. I think it, it's really welcoming for students to know that visible diversity is a part of our fabric and accepted. A big part of why there's such a diversity here is because this university goes out of its way to provide scholarships for international students, which for a public university to do is actually pretty surprising and the amounts are spectacular. For our international students, we've recently introduced um, several new large, large awards. First one is our President's International Scholarship, uh, which is $45,000 Canadian per year for a total of four years. So the value is $180,000. We have 20 of those available. Submit a personal statement as well as uh, two recommendation letters. Uh, and the application for that on an annual basis, it's for uh, September or fall entry and students are uh, required to submit that scholarship application by February 1st. In partnership with that on the same application is our Tantanda VIA award. We have 15 of them available at $30,000 Canadian each for four years for a total of $120,000. 
dollars. There's two ways a student can qualify for this award because they've demonstrated a commitment to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The other way is that you've demonstrated resilience and perseverance in your pursuit of education. Because classes haven't started yet, it's a little difficult for me to get student interviews for the video, but fortunately, Travis was nice enough to hook me up with an interview with Danny. And Danny is an international student from Chile who's going to tell us a little bit more about her experience at York. And she's got some really, really good insight. If you're looking for, you know, tips to figure out how to choose a country, how to choose a university, and also how to make the most of your university experience. So listen to what Danny has to say. How did you decide to study abroad and how did you decide then Canada? Why Canada specifically after having that experience in New Zealand or maybe did you consider other countries? Any other things that you kind of wish you had known? Okay. All right. I like that. Yeah. So maybe, um, is there any advice that you would tell some potential international students if they're thinking about coming here? Like, what would you tell them to do? What are some of the differences between uh, studying in Canada and studying in the United States? York, like a lot of other public universities in the US, has 200 plus majors to choose from and you don't even have to declare your major when you sign up. You can actually decide your major later if you want because the system is really flexible. And the same is true of most US universities. But that's about where the similarities kind of end because things are a little different in Canada. For starters, the application process is much simpler. Instead of evaluating a bunch of essays and extracurriculars, York is gonna focus primarily on your grades. They wanna see that you have an A, B plus average for the most part. Some programs are gonna be more competitive, but you don't have to jump through a bunch of other hoops like you usually do when you're applying to like an American university. York University being a large school is that we offer multiple intakes. So a student could start in September, you could start in January, or you could even start in May for, for most programs. Even though we're still open for applications throughout the spring, um, submitting your application by middle of January allows you to apply to the biggest scholarships that are due February 1st. Uh, they can use the Ontario University Application Center. And this allows you to use one platform to apply to multiple schools and add different programs. We do roll in admissions. So once we have your documents 
on file, the ones we've requested, uh, then we're able to forward it forward for a review and hopefully provide you a, a quick admission decision so you can start planning and packing your bags to come to Toronto. It is time for me to get going. I have had an awesome time at York today and it's been really, really cool getting to check out the campus up close and personal. Thanks so much to Travis for helping me out and also thanks to Emmy who I met at the conference for putting me in touch with Travis through Ruby. There's a really great team here at the International Recruitment Office and so if you guys are considering York, you want to go to one of the best public schools in Canada, seriously reach out to anybody from this team because they have all been super friendly. Everyone has helped me out and made it easy for me to come here today and show you this awesome school and, and just everything in it. So. Huge thanks to them and huge thanks to you for watching the video. If you like this stuff, I got a lot more content coming up. I'm in the middle of a tour, so you're gonna be seeing more videos like this every week. So stick around. I'll see you next week.